I'd have punched your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just... Don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now. Let's see about the wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior mm -hmm, or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma. Justice, you call it whatever you want. Fuck that bastard. Hey, okay. If you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town. And get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been... pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? When you do that for me... It's just... It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had a dinner. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Mm. Yeah, I see what she's saying, because if we leave with Eleanor tonight, that could be very risky. While he even said he'd do it, and then... 
Yeah, I don't know. It's a really tough call here. You know what? We're leaving tonight with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right. I know. Okay. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. <laughs> Sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Oh boy. Are we going to get some Clem backstory now? Hey, what you drawing there, goofball? Can I see? <sighs> you know I'm no good at this game, but I'll try to guess what it is. Just give me a second, I'll figure it out. Is it me? It is me. <laughs> I knew it. Come on, can you say Clem, AJ? Give it a try. Clem. Not much of a talker, are you, goofball? Edith says you should be speaking by now, but... Don't worry about it. You'll talk when you're ready. That was weird. Clem, open up. It's me. Edith, what's wrong? The group from last week. They're back. And now they're armed. This is bad, Clem. Th there's a lot of them. Too many of them. I, I don't like the looks of it. What do they want from us? M more than we can give. And, and now they're angry. Just pack whatever you can. Be ready to run, just in case. They got a lot of cars, and they're seriously pissed off. This is... Gonna get ugly. I know it. Now pack your stuff. When I get back, we gotta get the hell out. Shit, shit, shit. Barry Essentials, come on. We fucking begged you, man. Our people are sick and starving. It didn't have to be this way. You could have just given us some grub, some medicine. That's it. This is your fault. Y'all are just hoarding it for your fucking selves. Horseshit! Clem! Clem! They're inside! We have to go now! Just head for, for the woods! Crap. Oh no! No! Oh God. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. I see someone near the tree. Fucking shoot him. Oh wow. Guess Wellington got overrun or something. Sun's up. <sighs> Trip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Not that he's weird about it or anything. Relationships can change pretty fast. And they're never not complicated. Sounds like you've got something on your mind. Or someone. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh 
shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? in and don't come out not even once it's quiet it kept running through my head like on a loop i don't even know how long i was in there you did exactly what you should have done i always knew you were a smart kid it was scary at first but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore they just passed by kate and your brother where are they we got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van and that's where we're headed let's go get your brother back sweetie Oh, no. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. Wait! Nobody shoots! He's right! We fire at the truck, we might hit them. Wait, did she get bit? Javi, you found us. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? I'm happy to see all of you. Happy you're all okay. Another couple of minutes, we might not have been. But then, you showed up, just when it really mattered. Yeah, well, that's kind of my thing. Oh. <sighs> I wanted to come after you. I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. I thought we were done for. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then... I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. I must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push our luck. Who's the kid with the <laughs> gun? Does she have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? She saved my life. Pulled this crazy stunt. Let me get the upper hand on the asshole who took me away from you guys. Her name's Clementine. Hi there, 
Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Eleanor? <laughs> of course we have hot water. We're not cavemen. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. Guess I'm a lucky guy. The luckiest. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. Jesus! Trip, isn't it? Again. Let Eleanor help them. You stay with me. What? No! Javi, you have to come with us! Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi! Please come with us! Please! I have to stay with my family. Go! I'll hold them off! I said go! where it's going to end, isn't it? Yep! <laughs> of course it does. 
Okay. Oh, I actually like that they actually do this during the credits. I think that's a lot better. Uh, did you stay the night at the junkyard? You and 54, okay. I was in the majority. Did you shoot out the driver or let him go? Uh, okay, let him go. Also majority. What was the aftermath of the shooting? Um, yeah, we got locked. Oh, I guess you... guess you... There was a possibility you wouldn't have gotten locked up? That's interesting. Uh, who brought you back to the junkyard? Wow, again. Very even. So, after that, we have... Did you escape with your family or stay with Clementine? Oh, wow. I went with the minority here. I guess for this one, I just kind of figured, well, you know, I had to leave them. I didn't want to leave them again. I have a feeling Clementine's going to come back regardless, so... Yeah. Okay. Well, that was, um... That was episode one, part one. That was about an hour and 30 minutes. So, um... I think what I'm going to do is the videos for this series are going to be a bit longer than usual. Um, I'm going to make them, or try to make them anyway, about, uh, well, I don't know. I, I guess I'll think about it a little more. But, um, I would theoretically like to make it through, uh, or at least get pretty far through this project uh, throughout the month of October. So, uh, you know might do 30 minute episodes and then uh that way I can get through a good part of this before the end of the month I'll figure it out I'll figure out what exactly I'm gonna do I guess in worst case scenario even if I did like maybe 25 minute parts I'd still make it through probably like two or well four parts so one episode or one part every two weeks Something like that, anyway. Don't want to get all tied down in the specifics here. Uh, but yeah, um, so far, enjoying it. Really, really liking it so far. Not that I'm surprised. Like, I love the other Walking Dead games, and I'm curious to see the direction this will take. Would like to hear a little more of Clementine's backstory, since it seems like a huge amount of time has actually happened since, uh, Season 2. But I'm, I'm sure we'll get more of that as we go through. I'm sure. Looks like AJ's not really around. Uh, and there could be a... Uh, I guess he could still be around. We don't really know much about where Clem currently lives. Or if she is just a wanderer now. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the new characters. Javi seems like a pretty cool protagonist. His family seems nice. Although kind of the uh, kind of the sexual tension between uh, Javi and uh, Kate is a little uh, awkward, I guess. I honestly kind of like uh, the nurse lady a little more, just in my own personal opinion. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Can I continue? Oh, the credits actually end. Okay, well. You know, I, I, I had... I had all I really needed to say. We'll get the full dose of the credits when we get to the final part. So, yeah. And, yeah, Telltale doing some very active advertisement for their games coming out. Not that I'm surprised. Not that, not that I'm surprised, anyway. Uh, do we have a next time on Walking Dead before we close this out? As a little teaser before the next part? Or are they going to jump right into the next story? The load times are a little extreme, but I think that's just because my computer is not super strong.
Honestly, I'm just happy I can play this game on another platform without having to uh, start from scratch and then make up my own story. Oh, there is no preview. That's, uh... That's weird. Well, um... Hmm. I really, really wanted a preview, but I guess we'll uh, get that later, or... Maybe we won't get it at all. Okay, well... I'm gonna go ahead and end here. This has been Slim Kirby. This has been Walking Dead, A New Frontier, a.k.a. Walking Dead Season 3. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for Episode 2. Later, folks.